Your mother isn't here with us, Harris. Would you like to leave a message? I'll be sure that she gets it. Yes, Mom. Will you get out of there, please? You're no fun! I'm working! See you later, Mrs. Harris. She called the mayor's office, y'all. Telling all them people at Legends Barbershop where her and Gimble been going. Allegedly. Why doesn't she just call the police? I don't get it. She's snitching and called the 1-800 Crime Stoppers like T.I. did. Sorry, y'all, I've dropped my phone for the thousandth time. Well, they didn't just come out of nowhere, so let's just keep that in mind. Because you were in there tripping, throwing ashes on people in the barbershop. I'm going to like her video just because I'm using it. You weren't drugged. You were given your medicine. Is lying. What she supposed to say? Like, <laughs> it sounds like you had a hard time, but you can't. Why she ain't said nothing. Why aren't you why aren't you call the police though? I don't get that part. She probably go tell her that. Make a report there. How do you know? She blaming everything on them. What's she supposed to say? I'll get it. So what she's supposed to do is just go off your information and start going off? Sounds like you snitching. <laughs> you know, it's the citizens that pay. The citizens 
salaries of the city workers, including the police. My brother is a taxpaying citizen. He live over there on Lakeview. What's that got to do with anything? Why are you calling that lady? Call a lawyer. She is not your counsel. Protect them against people like you. They're crazy. I'm increasing, acting crazy. It's the same number he calls to protect. What's that got to do? Oh my God. So what's she supposed to do? Go over there and do a drug bust? That's not her fault you got beat up. Nobody asked you to go in there acting like that. Will you marry me? I love you. Please. Whatever, man. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.